And you're marching with the Chinese? Yes. So you were, were your people or yours? How do you identify with the Caribbean? Um, I'm Caribbean. Yeah. Yes. You want Haitian. to say what island? Haitian. Oh, oh yes. Haiti. Haiti. Yes. I went. I went to that Labadee, that stupid cruise ship port. Oh yeah. I spent all my money with the local Haitian uh, uh, artisans. I spent three hundred dollars. Didn't God. take any of the trips. They try to take you these trips. Are and you, you know what? Me? I was so happy. I got a tie dye dress that I wore last night. Oh wow! And I got this ring in Haiti. You working it? You working it? Right. Hello, baby. You gotta do something. You ready, out. buddy? Run. Haitian people need help. help. Sure. Let's go. Ready? Y'all better post this. I will. <laughs> One, two, oh wait. One, two, boom. Bet. So what are you doing to help the people in Haiti? I'm trying. I know it's almost impossible. What could people do to help the people in Haiti? I have no idea. It's really I'm, awful. I, I'm, I wasn't born there, so I don't know. Oh. Well, believe me, no you, 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 wouldn't, you wouldn't dare go back now. I know. Wait, wait, wait. I, need, I need a picture. I'm Brittany. Where, where are you? Where are you from? Where are you from? Trinidad. Trinidad. Wow. I was in Trinidad, but I didn't see anybody as colorful as you. <laughs> or as beautiful. Right, baby. Where are you from? Hi, Trinidad. From where? I'm from Trinidad. He's from Guyana. Oh, Trinidad. I was there. I spent. Uh, I put out a thing more Canadian aid, but it was off in Trinidad. They were chunking out the asphalt and putting it on a boat for China. You're from Ghana? Guyana. Oh, Guyana. Is Guyana, is Guyana safe? Because there are two. There's, there's a, I know an Indian where they were having trouble between two groups in Guyana. Oh, is yeah. There, uh, what are the groups? Are they that all settled now? It was a political group thing, but I think it's like really um, it's, it's all it's becoming you. safer. Um, it's just like chaos. So for a tourist, I'd be safe going there? Oh, yeah, definitely. Have you been there lately? I go every year. Oh. So what are the prices like? Like St. Martin was real cheap, Bermuda was incredibly expensive. For me, I have family there, so it's I can't equate the price. Yeah, but what if you go out to a restaurant? Um, if you take about 5,000 US dollars, or you can have a tour of everywhere. Huh? Uh, you have a tour of everywhere with that. Oh, and that you have includes, organized tours? Yes, um, there was an Iwakurama rainforest tour, um, well, I was thinking of going to Costa Rica. Do you think I'd be better off going to Guyana? I never went. I don't know. I love Guyana because it's so natural. And um, How many people speak English? Everybody. In Guyana? Yeah, because Guyana was once known as British Guyana. Right. And so, what was the other? Was there another Guyana? So there were the French Guyana, the British Guyana, the Dutch Guyana. British Guyana became Guyana. Um, uh -huh. Dutch Guyana became Suriname. And French Guyana stays as it is. So I have to go to British Guyana. British Guyana. And how big is that? How many population? Seven hundred, about seven hundred thousand people. Very small. Very small, and but majority. How do you fly in there? You must have to change flights ten times. No. No. Direct flight from New York um, to Guyana. Around, what do they run? I'm sorry. Is there airline? What airline does? Yes, that? there's Caribbean airline. Yeah. That goes. Um, I'm not sure if JetBlue goes. Oh, those are some. Well, thank you very much. I look forward to going to uh, Guyana. I was going to go to Costa Rica. If you want a more of a natural eco tour, Guyana is a place because majority of our rainforest is undisturbed, on right. um, explored. And, you know, in Costa Rica, everything's developed and they have travel through the trees on a live wire. Yeah, Guyana is more out, natural. Watch out! Watch yeah. out! Terrible, this fire, this fire is getting out of hand. Bad. So let's go up the other side. Let's see. Let's go up the other side and see what we get. Okay. Come on, I want to do some more interviews. What are you? Gay Hockey Association. I thought so. How did I figure that out? <laughs> How many members do you have? 
How many members, Steve? Um, we have about 150. And where do they sign up if they're interested? Um, to sign up, uh, you go to nycgha.com. And hockey is a really popular sport with gays, isn't it? It, it is, actually. Oh, it, is? it inspires a lot of passion, um, and it's a great way to, you know, really take control of yourself and get rid of the fears that you have. Because you can't have any fear if you're out on the ice on skates oh, swinging a stick I have a fear. Getting on skates and a stick out on the ice, I'm too old for hockey. You'd be surprised. I'm ice skating, but not hockey. Um, we have players in their 70s. I'm 77. Excellent. <laughs> you're, you're very welcoming, but I, I'm not going to be there. Thank you anyway. Yeah. All right. Hey. Where are you from? You spoke to me already. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I remember now the feathers on the wings. Oh. Where are you from? Antigua. From where? Antigua. Antigua? Yeah. Oh, I haven't been there. So, I can, I can see that I have a lot to explore in the Caribbean and also in Guyana and South America. So maybe my next trip won't be to Costa Rica after all. This has been Randy Wicker reporting from the Gay Pride Parade.